How about now, my little long-eared cherub? Is it working now? Not at all. And find another endearment. Cherubs are fat baby humans with freakish wings. I knew that, sweetheart. I just didn't know you knew. Time's almost up. If you can't show the judges something soon, you'll be disqualified. Panic time! Our massively impressive golem isn't working. The judges are waiting. It functioned perfectly back in the lab. I'm at a loss. Having the best pilot and the best pilot golem interface won't matter if it just stands there. I was sure we'd win. Snap was a golem answer after all. Let me take a look. I know this baby like the schematics were tattooed on the inside of my eyelids. Every time I blink, it's a review session. Well, there's your problem. The MIG's capacitors are missing. Someone forgot to put them in. That's your job, Kaz. I pilot, you maintain. It's a good thing I love you so much, because I love you a little less each time your scatterbrain sets us back. I love you too, my dulcet-toned honey viper. But I put the capacitors in. Someone must have swiped them, because I would not forget. Not after your last cheerful chastisement. Pitch woo on your own time. We must have left the capacitors in the Hydron Unit Lab staging area. Hurry! Retrieve those capacitors at once! Sure, I've heard of Snaff, but I still don't get why he gets a whole prize named after him. Because he was one of the greatest geniuses who ever lived, you empty-headed homunculus. He revolutionized Gollumancy. He blazed trails so brilliant, most people can't even see his footsteps, let alone follow in them! So, friend of yours, then. Animus pinheads, that's our stuff. Was your stuff. Now it's ours. But don't worry, we'll leave you a beating in exchange. and desist all hostilities. Now, what's going on here? These inquest poltroons snuck into our work area, sabotaged our massively impressive golem, and stole our equipment. Calumny and slander! We were called in to consult on a SNAF prize entry, and when we did, this blaggard attacked us. Now, now. Things get heated when a prize is on the line. Let's all just calm down, count to ten, and get back to work. No harm done, eh? No harm done. They vandalized our workspace and our MIG. That is a serious accusation. On behalf of the Arcane Council, I suggest you file a complaint after the contest is over. Off you go now. Off! Thinking about joining the inquest, they never let morality get in the way of progress. They'd never take you. You know what morality means. You got the parts. I'll install them and we'll be ready to go. Hey, you fixed it! Nice work. Now we can show off our improved Golem to Pilot interface. It's not as splashy as some entries, but it's revolutionary. The snack prize is as good as ours. Not if we don't hurry it up. They're waiting now. So get out there and strut our stuff. Out of my way. We've got a prize to win. 
Behold, a revolutionary leap forward in Gollum to pilot interfacing. The massively impressive Gollum. The biomagical psionic mind link is two-way, instantaneous, and uninterruptible. Our pilot doesn't even need hands. She just has to think, and the Gollum responds. No more specialized training or hours of practice. Just hop in, think, and away you go. Very impressive. How did you handle the problem of feedback? Every time I've tried something similar, the pilot's brain got fried. Our breakthrough in Gollum Interface Deafening Technology is the user's mind safe from harm. Well, it's not as eye-catching as Tails' floating Griswold, but your MIG is quite impressive. I've seen enough, Counselor. Our choice is clear. The invention that best embodies Snaf's legacy is the College of Dynamics MIG. I quite agree. Seamless integration of machine and user has been an unachievable goal. Until now. Well done. As far as I know, only the Inquest has ever had any success, and they have to brutalize sentient beings to achieve it. That was the most difficult challenge we faced. False modesty aside, our work here represents a quantum leap forward in Gollomancy. Which is why, on behalf of the judges, I'm pleased to award Vronk's crew the Snaff Prize. Let's all... Alchemy, what's that thing doing now? Ron, we have a problem. Something's ah! definitely wrong in there. Doxa, what's going on? It's not responding. It's malfunction. I mean, error. Arg! What's happening to me? So the winning entry was a crazed counselor-killing golem. Well, if we disqualified every potentially lethal entry, there'd be no contestants left. But the MIG was sabotaged. Our entry was tampered with. I don't know why, but the inquest... Stop right there. Every time a stasis servo slips a gear, people blame inquest saboteurs. I'm sick of it. You just took the SNAF prize. Learn to win gracefully. Instead of finding scapegoats for your own inadequacy, you should be tracking down and dismantling that amok golem you unleashed. And when you do, I'd love the chance to study it. Impressive work. Right on up to the point it started smashing things at random. That will soon be rectified. Back to the lab, crew. We can track the MIG from there. With a bit of luck, we can stop it before it does any serious damage. Hey, you're just in time. Prompt's got us all set up. Well, mostly. Before we proceed, I want to make it clear. We won the SNAF prize, but we can't decide who gets the SNAF savant title until we recover Doxa and the MIG. Now then, I just finished calibrating my Aetheric Harmonizer for the tracking device in the MIG. Once we activate it, it'll pinpoint Doxa's location. Then what are we waiting for? I, I mean, please sir, let's activate it right away. I'm worried about Doxa. I can see that, but I'm worried that your personal concerns are distracting you. The startup sequence is more complicated than flipping a switch, you know. Ergo, I want you on the harmonizer core to make sure the apparatus doesn't overload while your crewmate here fires it up. Consider it done, sir. Kaz isn't the only one who needs Doxa back. She's funny, and without her, our productivity has dropped by 43%. I'll begin the initiation sequence. Note which console fires in what order, then repeat the sequence by interacting with the console. Okay, 
You've got basic motor function and eye-hand coordination down. Now, it's time. Brace yourself. This last one is going to knock you flat. It's working. It's working perfectly. And the signal appears to be close. signal is moving. In fact, it's getting closer. In fact, it's headed right for us. Wait, this can't be right. It says the signal is coming from right behind that wall. Never capitulate. There's the power. Did you hear that? Doxa was in there calling for me. But why was she so out of control, so destructive? Her mind has been fused with the MiG's command protocols. She's confused, in pain, and struggling to adjust to a whole new consciousness. I'd say that's also why she went berserk at the demonstration. The initial shock must have been painful. I hate to say it, but getting her out will be tricky. A definite understatement. I've reviewed reams of recovered inquest records, and according to them, no one has ever been unfused from a golem. I'm sorry, Kaz, but Doxa may already be dead. Those words you heard could just be echoes of her former self. Don't panic yet. Zoja is the foremost authority on golems in the world, and she already stated her interest in the MiG. If anyone can help, it's her. Perhaps there's hope, then. I know Zoja's doing some work at the Incom Optics Lab outside the city. You'd better follow up with her in person. I'm ready. Please, for Doxa's sake, let's talk to Zoja right away. Let's get inside. Zoja is waiting, and Doxa needs her help. set to go. I've cleared the lab so we'll have the space and privacy we need, and also so no random observers get killed. I'd love to solve this problem for you. The MiG is so promising. 
almost up to SNAF standards. Sorry, back to business. Diagnostic examination. This lab is the perfect place to run a full battery of tests. There's good equipment here, and more importantly, it's not mine. So I won't care if it gets destroyed. I'm not entirely sure about this. Will the process hurt? Of course not. Golems don't feel... Well, they don't usually feel pain. This may be a special case, though. We'll just have to forge ahead. I suppose we could ask the inquest. They do fusions like this all the time, usually with people they don't like, which is a pretty long list. No thanks. We set out to find an alternative to the inquest method. We don't need more data on sacrificing sentient beings to improve Gollum control. A wise decision. Now let's sort out this Doxa situation. Entity under consideration. Greetings. Error. Recognition My schedule failure. Is absolutely packed. Or else I'd be there to murder you in person. Well, well, the walking joke is making jokes. Tell me, Tail, how did you access these systems? We're the Inquest. We can do anything we want to with no talent pikers like you. But I'm not virtually here to banter. Minions, bring the MIG back to the funhouse. And just to cement the fact that all your golems belong to us. Golems, initiate security override 27. Authorization code, Soja is a thing. Get her! I'd like to lodge a formal complaint, soldier. The examination prospectus you provided never mentioned explosions, fires, or hacked golems. Better get used to it. All that's just a prelude to what's in store if we keep crossing paths with the inquest. Which we will, because Teo clearly wants the MIG, and we want their know-how on fusing sentient souls to golems. Will that help? I mean, Doxa seems calm enough now, so she's adjusting to her new situation. Inquest machinery could just drive her mad again. That's a risk we have to take. If we don't separate her soon, she won't be Doxa anymore. We need to access the Inquest lab known as the Fun House. The Inquest's data, combined with my expertise, gives us a chance. A statistically small chance. But that's better than what she has if we do nothing. All right then, let's head to the Fun House. Though somehow, I doubt it'll be much fun for anyone involved. Is this the place? Lead the way. I just hope we find the device in time to save Doxa.
unbound by morality, with a heaping helping of jerk. Never capitulate! <laughs> The machine we need is behind that barrier. Smash those generators and bring it down. Careful. Watch out! That power is going to work those experiments, and they don't look Fast happy. little figures! Wait, this won't work. You saw the lab full of failures in there. The inquest golems were out of control, dangerous, more golem than pilot. I think this recursive feedback device only fuses people to golems. I don't think it can extract a person from one. Can we repurpose it? Make it do what we want? If we do nothing, we could lose her entirely. We have to try. That may kill her anyway. There is another option. We use the inquest device to put me inside another golem. Then at least Doxa and I can be together. That's crazy. You could both die or have your personalities totally subsumed. Then you just watch helplessly as your golem bodies go bonkers. It's worth it. For her. She's everything to me. Listen, I know I'm not thinking clearly here. You're our friend, our crewmate. And I trust you. I need your input. Should we try to extract Doxa and maybe kill her? Or fuse me with a golem and maybe kill us both? You 
listen to yourself. There is no way the etheric filtering could process that much energy. I hear someone's trying to improve on Asura gates. As if that were possible. Be honest now, soldier. Can this work? Do we have a chance? Yes, my simulations result in an 86% probability of success, but... This is inquest territory. They don't care about their test subjects, and they focus on fusing rather than unfusing. Still, 86% is nothing to sneeze at. The modifications we made should do the trick. It's time to test that theory. We're ready to start the extraction process. All we need to do is throw the switch and activate the extractor now. I hear noises and see light, but what does it all mean? Is it working? The machines are working. As for the overall process, we'll see soon enough. Booga Boogers! It's the inquest! Don't let them interrupt the extraction process! There's the power! Soldier, and our crewmates. Are you all right, Doxo, my dear? Affirmative. Loved one, Kaz. This unit thanks you for your assistance. <laughs> I had you going there, didn't I? I'm fine, and my sense of humor is definitely intact. Vacate these premises! Plagiarists! Saboteurs! That's Inquest property. I've come to shame you into giving it back. Oh, and snuff you all for stealing it. You couldn't snuff a sputtering candle. And before I forget, plagiarists, saboteurs coming from you in the Inquest? That's hilarious. You broke into our facility to steal our research for a golem design you also stole. What would you call it? We'd call it saving our friend. I'll answer for stealing your tech when you answer for using it to commit atrocities. What do you say, Teo? Shall we all go before the Arcane Council and see whose Golem Fusion project is most objectionable? Hmm. No deal. I guess I'll just have to take back what's mine and eliminate all you witnesses.
Well done, crew. We saved Doxa and beat the inquest at its own game. I've never been so proud. Everyone gets an extra hour for lunch tomorrow. That's generous, sir, but I think Doxa and Kaz may need more time than that. They've been through a lot. Don't worry, though. I'll cover their duties. Thanks for that. I feel like I could sleep for a year. And whenever I try to think, I still hear a metallic voice in my head that says, Working. It could be worse. If things had gone differently, you could have been reduced to a voice in the MIG's head. And then who would keep me honest? Go on, you two. Enjoy some downtime. I'll keep things running smoothly until you're ready to return. Before we let these lovers go, we still have to decide who gets the title Snaff Prize Savant. I can't see anyone objecting to it being you. You were instrumental in constructing the MIG and in getting Doxa out of it. Any objections? No? Good. Wear your title with pride. You've earned it. Congratulations, Savant. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Standouts like you are worth watching and worth putting to work. See you soon.